Hello there. It's been a minute. Ralph hopes everyone is well. Ralph these past few weeks has been doing a lot more solo raids and has been struggling mightily. Ralph is going to, well, try to help out with something that everyone has to do in Escape from Tarkov. Holy sh That's right, shooter born in heaven. Wait. No! No! Hey, 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 hey. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! What the? Well, I guess AI scavs have something to say about that. They don't want me to get it done. I'm gonna do a little surgery here real quick, and then we'll get back on topic of talking about how to do Shooterborn in heaven effectively in this game. Is someone running up on me? Does he see me? Dude, I'm trying to get Shooterborn. Oz. Okay, listen. I was just gonna end up. A, head eyes. B, I somehow eliminate him. C, I get shot up, but I plead for my life. D, a scab kills me out of nowhere. Five seconds on the clock. Good luck. Oh, oh no, he, no, yeah, he looked. Oh, please. Oh, no, oh God. Yo, 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 what's going on? <laughs> what, what talking out, bro? Chill. Chill? Chill. Yeah, we can chill. All right, cool. Are you scab or PMC? I'm a PMC. Oh, I'm just, you want an extract, you said? Are you a scab or what? I'm a PMC as well. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, you do you, man. You do you. I ain't gonna mess with you. I'm just moving to heal, that's all. I gotta get my surgery kit. Thanks for not killing me. Have a nice day. You guess C, you're correct. Congratulations, you prize. Ralph is poor. Please watch the video. Thank you. Have you ever wanted to get shooter born and haven't done, but have the hardest time doing it? Well, Ralph's gonna share a few tips and tricks that has helped him work towards that goal. Remember a few weeks back, Ralph was doing a little more of a hardcore playthrough this time around. No flea market, no buying items from the traders, barters only, and a whole lot of pain. But the traders made a deal with Ralph. They will start selling him bolt action rifles, suppressors, and scopes and a little bit of ammunition. And in return, Ralph must attempt to complete Shooterborn Heaven. The traders have given Ralph two weeks to complete this task. If Ralph completes Shooterborn in Heaven, he will unlock the ability to buy anything and everything from the traders. Ralph really hopes he gets this done. He is struggling right now. Let's begin with the first tip. Tactical clothing that you wear is important. Now I've broken this down into two categories. The first category is a more woodsy, uh, call it, approach. The maps that you're playing are potentially going to be woods, shoreline, lighthouse, maybe customs. The second category I've broken it down to is in the darker or city landscapes. This is going to include the new map streets of Tarkov, labs, interchange, factory, reserve, and maybe a little bit of customs. Now there is some flexibility between the maps, but we'll cover that here shortly. First, I wanna dive into more of the woodsy forestry, greens, browns, and yellows. Ralph grew up in the wilderness, in the forest. His first go-to top is the bear ghost marksman. In his pants, he loves the bear Gorka Cobra. And if you're looking for a more budget build, there's the Bear Summer Field and the Bear Gorka SSO. Both will get the job done. Let me show you why. Uh-oh. People coming. Let's see if they see me. Uh, no way. Oh. He's running away. Second one. Oh. Second one saw me. Coming back. Ah, oh, his friend was smart. Honestly, if I was in some taller grass, I bet you they would have both ran right by me. But that's the power of camo and why it is so important to take advantage of the tactical clothing that Rayman sells to you so you can get this quest done. Next up, we have the more darker and cityscapes. This could be nighttime raids as well. The first kit Ralph loves to use is the Bear Grizzly shirt and the Bear SRV pants. Now, Ralph has a little more expensive taste and sometimes we'll go with the Bear Striker Infill Ops pants, but it is level 35. Here's a good example. Are those blind? What are they shooting at? 
Where's his teammate go? I know he's in here somewhere. Where are you? Peekaboo. Wait. Oh. Good night. Went it in, baby. After picking your clothes, next is to have some sort of range finder on you. That way, you have an idea of what the range is, as you know you need to get a 125 meter or above headshot. Two kind of range finders that you can use out there is the one that fits in your quick inventory, that even if you die, you still get it. Or you can attach one to your gun by using this mount right here like I do in almost all my sniper builds. That way I can gauge the distance a whole lot easier and not question that 125 meters now that you know the range you gotta set your zeroing on your gun a lot of the scopes actually most of the scopes nowadays are set at 50 meters you ever whiff your shots so poorly you're like how the heck am i missing so high or so low a lot of times just your zero is not set correctly or if you're like ralph you're just a bad shot in general but zeroing is important because if you're trying to shoot someone 400 meters away and you're zero for 50, you're not going to hit that shot. Don't be like Ralph. Something else that should come to mind is the ammo that you're using. A 7.62 M62 round is a dang good round to be shooting with. But as a sniper, you may want to think about it. These are the kind of ammos that I'm thinking that are higher tier and have a tracer right attached to it. We want to stay a little bit more stealthy than others. Shooting with a tracer round will really give away your position. You may get away with one shot, the first shot, because if you catch them off guard, but after that, they'll be looking around. If they see a trace around on their left eye or right eye, they know the general direction you're in. Now, if they don't see your trace around, maybe they heard your shot. Not everyone can afford these fancy dancy suppressors, but one of the biggest things to look at to use on your sniper rifles, the sound silence stack. Ralph hasn't done any scientific testing, but after looking up a few videos on Skillshare, Ralph learned that any sniper shot that someone hears over 100 meters away, or around 100 meters away, is pretty hard to distinguish, and sometimes you won't even hear it. Which, if you're trying to snipe someone from 50 meters away, wait, let them go further. That way they don't hear you. You can create a badass sniper montage, right? So, you got your gun picked out, you got your ammo, your silencer, your scope that you want to use, the camo you purchased from Rankman, now you're broke, you're blaming me because you're broke, she spent 1.4 million. Then, you're gonna go into a raid. You're gonna go sit in a bush, pull out your bolt action rifle. You'll be surprised. You'll be shocked a little bit you really do blend in in the right bush right rock the right tree the right hill and a lot of times people will run around in circles trying to find you but if i had one more tip or trick for you for shooter born in heaven it is this if you are spotted you better reposition your butt Ralph's encounters of people that have spotted him nine out of ten times are usually with a semi-auto or automatic gun. You have lost your element of surprise as a sniper. Therefore, you either got to make the shot of your lifetime, whip out the pistol and pray you hit a few good shots in their thorax or head, or last but not least, you need to run and relocate ASAP. As you have been watching out here on Woods, I engaged a guy that was in this little village, missed my shots both times, and instead of sticking right there like I normally would, waiting for him to pop back out, he had a shotgun. I may have not seen him come up from behind. The huge wide flank back towards vehicle extract. And as I was heading back, I was hearing some more shots within the town. I'll take a peek down here. I've made a big flank. They shouldn't expect somebody, at least me, to be here at the Mosin sniping. Uh, last time the shotgun guy probably saw me, knew I was on top of that hill. He may have looked up there. I think I may have just left him alone since he's shooting at somebody. I'm not shooting back at him. As you see, this shotgun guy shooting the scav. Kill them. Don't kill a scav there, because that would have given away my position. They'd be like, oh crap, there's still a PMC here. So he may have killed the PMC or something. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe he's going to come to vehicle extract. But then I see my moment here. PMC running from right to left running into the woods. He did not see me pushing down towards the beach. I wonder if this guy's going to check out the stash down there. Actually, there's a box down there, not a stash. So I decided to reposition a little bit more uh, back in the woods. Have a little bit of cover with the foliage and see if I can't see him via the extract here. I'm not going to let the nerds get the best of me. And as I think he's not coming, look at that 
Vehicle extract. Just in the middle. Oh, yeah, that's right. Someone else's camping vehicle extract with a shotgun. I had no idea. What the heck is going on? After Ralph figures out what is going on, he checks the time and he notices, well, the truck is going to be driving away. So I don't know if the person that killed the player or not is going to be extracting via this car or not. I said truck. Dingus, it's a van. No, it's a truck. It's a vehicle. It's an SUV. Anyways, look at that gone so ralph ends up just sitting here for a little bit start creeping up here to see if the waiting game paid off or if he actually did extract i wasn't quite sure and rise i'm not sure footsteps are running right towards me i gotta hit the shot of my life like i was said then we do oh my goodness i killed the extract camper so i actually don't feel as bad look at the two guns we get out of this too Ralph's nerves are pumping at this moment. They have a backpack, and I'm going to grab a lot of this stuff. And then now we got extract, and unfortunately, car is not here. So I got to get on out to outskirts, which we end up doing. We get out of the raid, and the big flank ended up paying off for us. We ended up killing somebody that wasn't the first person I shot at, but I got vengeance for the person that got extract camped. But then I took all their stuff. I think that person died and ditched all the other stuff. I don't know. But it was worth it in the end for Ralph because Ralph has been struggling. And hopefully Ralph was able to teach you a few tips and tricks. Ralph working through his thought process on how he approaches sniping in this game, working on Sureborn in Heaven, which is a difficult task. Ralph understands a lot of people are going to be using semi-automatic rifles for Shooterborn in Heaven, like the SR-25, SVDS. There's a lot of other guns. You can even use an M4, I mean, but bolt actions are just 762 by 51 or 762 by 54 guns are going to be the best guns for this quest. All right. So if you want to go more hardcore like Ralph and use a bolt action for Super Born in Heaven, add some more challenge to it, but also some fun, satisfying shots. This is the way. Hopefully y'all understand how important tactical clothing is as well. Ralph has explained this once, and Ralph will probably explain it hundreds more times. Because tactical clothing is the way in Escape from Tharkov. So, Ralph's got two weeks to complete Shooterboard in Heaven. He's gonna go strap in, drink some caffeine, see what he can do. If you get killed by a guy named Ralph, be sure to say hi in the afterlife. Thanks for watching.